Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to remove rogue search providers in Chrome. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, in today's video we're going to show you how to remove rogue search providers in Google Chrome. Now, this is mostly comes about if you've done a adware search on your PC, or maybe you've done a sort of scan, and it comes up with a PUP, or a potentially unwanted program. Now, these can actually come from certain search providers. So the search provider kind of tailors your results more towards their sites and things like that. So in the instance of the one we're doing today, the one I've actually got on my PC is from Banggood, which I actually have been to before, but for some reason, the program still keeps on saying that it is a malware type infection. So today I'm gonna to go to the computer, show you what it looks like and how to remove it, because the malware bike software generally can't touch it. It can quarantine it, but every time you reboot the PC, it comes back because it's embedded in your Google system. So let's go to the PC and I'll show you what it's all about and how to remove it. Okay, so first of all on PC, let's go into Adware Cleaner. Now, if you've got any problems with your PC, uh, this is definitely worth taking a look at. So Adware Cleaner is a free, uh, free piece of software. I'll put some links in it so you can check it out. So as you can see, number of scans, I've done seven scans and there's been 13 detections. And it's the same thing kept coming up every time. So let's do a quick scan now and I'll show you what comes up. So it goes through the entire system and generally it all looks absolutely fine. So we get right to the very end and then we get two items detected. So as we see, it's the pup.optional.banggood. And there's two items found, so if we expand those, and they are residing in our Chrome search provider. So normally you just click on quarantine, it will say to reboot, reboot the system, and then the next time you open up Chrome or Chrome's running in the background, these would reappear and keep on rearing their ugly heads. So this is really annoying. It's not the end of the world. It's not really that bad a thing. The Banggood is a, a sort of well-known Chinese wholesaler of goods. So it's not a massive problem, but sometimes you may find that you've got other things here uh, which are less uh, less well known, let's say. So anyway, this is how to get rid of them. So we'll cancel that, close down that, and if we go into uh, Google Chrome, so we'll open up Google Chrome, and what we want to do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then we want to go down to where it says settings. So in settings, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is the section we want, our search engine section. So currently the search engine using the address bar is Google. Now, if you're having problems with uh, redirections, make sure that this does say Google on your system and Google is the only entry in there. Um, also, we wanna go into manage search engines. So we're going to manage search engines. This will show you all your uh, search engines. So the default search engine for us currently is google.com. So that's exactly what we wanna see. If you've got additional ones in there, you can get rid of them if you want to which uh, potentially can speed up your searches and your browsing uh, by not having to go through all the different search engines to begin with. If you've got a search engine here which doesn't look uh, familiar to you, I would certainly suggest clicking on the three dots on the end, click on edit and try and remove it. But anyway, let's look for our Banggood ones. So if we look in our other search engines and we'll scroll down through, we've got loads of Amazon ones in there, so uh, Amazon actually re changes theirs all the time. So there we go, there is our Banggood entries so there's both of them there so all we need to do is click on more options and put remove from this list or you can click on edit and you can actually change where it goes to and from so say for instance the url is wrong or you're concerned that the url is going off to a site where it shouldn't do or some kind of tracker is built within it you can actually if you want to you can just change the url for the query uh, i wouldn't suggest doing that if you can possibly help it as you can see in this one, this was actually from Summer Prime Cells. So again, um, yeah, we probably don't need it. So what we can do is click on Banggood and do remove from this list. And that one there as well, remove from this list. And again, you can go through if there's any other ones on here which you don't like the look of. By, uh, by all means, feel free to get rid of them. If they are needed, they will come back in at a later date. And again, if they cause any problems, then if they pop up in a malware scanner, you can just go back in and remove them. So there you go, there's how to remove additional search providers within Google Chrome. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, click on the like button and feel free to click on the subscribe button and the chime icon, and then you can be notified of all future video releases. 
If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.